real good evening um, so huge shout out to all of you a huge blessing from our father to you all on this night this is Wednesday April the 13th 2022 we're here we're joyful we're happy that we can be here once again and we're gonna be continuing our prayers for the Arab nations continuing our prayers for the Islamic the Islamic nations and we explain every night that this particular month April actually it ends on May 2nd uh, the, the Muslim world is gonna is gonna be in deep prayer and fasting and searching for some kind of spiritual sense and we're also gonna be in prayer so all these Islamic nations can, can can also get to know our God or Jesus Christ the only way to salvation knowing God's son Jesus um, we're gonna be praying for the United Arab Emirates yeah, it's a long name, I know. So it's a nation that is not well known, uh, but nevertheless doesn't mean that it's not important. It's, it's basically located east of Africa, west of Asia. So it's part of the Asian continent, right next to uh, Oman uh, in Saudi Arabia. So it's, it's a very small country, but it has a, a, a very, very rich culture. And something that attracts our minds about their culture is their love for a particular bird whose name is Falcon, like the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, so a Falcon basically is a, it's a, it's like an eagle, but a smaller version of it. And, and, and the relationship they have with these Falcons is very deep. It goes back centuries and centuries ago and, and it, it's basically because this this bird the falcon is a master at hunting and, and living in the desert hunting can it's not as easy as it is when you live in some other areas of the country uh, or earth should i say and so these animals are very well trained to hunt game and then facilitate uh, bringing food to all these families so it's something very important for them and um, they actually spend a lot of time this this guys this men spend a lot of time training these animals where they they establish a very deep relationship with these animals so when they go hunting they just don't disappear they always come back um, that's that's really very noble of them um, they they have a hood on their head and when the owner takes off that hood they just fly away in a sense that they go somewhere where they know they're gonna find game, hunt, bring that back to the owner. Um, and, and, and just like there's that deep relationship between, between the falcon and the owner, the owner actually says, I am the falcon's father. I behave like a father. In that sense, God is also our father. Just like these two, the falcon and these guys have a deep relationship God, the Father, wants a deep relationship with all of us, all humanity around the globe. Um, so the, the book of Corinthians, 1st of Corinthians, chapter 8, 1st of Corinthians, chapter 8, verse 3 says, and we read the Bible in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It says, but the person who loves God is the one whom God recognizes. So let's read that again. It says, the person who loves God is the one whom God recognizes. So see how very important that is? So the Bible is essentially saying, if you love God, he will love you back. If you love God, he will recognize you. He will know immediately who you are. So just that relationship where the falcon knows exactly who, who the father is in his life, who the person in charge of him is. And, and so that's how all of us 
as children of God, all of us, as his creation, when we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior, there's a lot of changes in us, mainly in the spiritual sense. We become sons and daughters of God, and, and God knows us, so we are one with God. And that's basically what we're praying about. We're going to pray for the United Arab Emirates, for these families to get to know God so everyone can turn to the Father and, and receive his love. So the power of Christ can also be with them um, so they can recognize him as the Son of God, as the way for salvation, for life, for eternal life. And also the volunteers and missionaries can go over there to the United Arab Emirates and, and, and preach the gospel of salvation from Jesus Christ. So let's go ahead and pray together. Father, we, we ask for your forgiveness. We ask in the name of Jesus Christ that, that you forgive our sins that you forgive our action thoughts and, and, and ideas that, that were not properly done, that were not structured in such a way that we can say it was a blessing. Uh, thoughts and ideas that don't come from you, uh, actions that never came from you, actions that were not advised by you. We ask for your forgiveness. We're trying to be better every day. We ask for forgiveness for our families, our friends. We ask that you always, always teach us lessons every single day. Lessons that will help us grow spiritually. Lessons that will help us be ready. Because Christ is coming. Christ is coming soon and we need to be ready. He's coming for his church. And I don't mean by an actual building. His church meaning his people, the people that live for him, the people that breathe for him, the people that follow his advice, follow his word, they're obedient to his word. Uh, Father, we keep praying for the Arab nations, the Islamic nations, and the United Arab Emirates is what we present to you. We present the whole country. We ask that your Holy Spirit visits every single house in this country so they can get to know you, so they can get to know your love, so they can get to experience your love, so they can see and put into action the love of Christ. They can see or hear testimonies about God, about Christ working on people. How the, he got out of the gutter a lot of people that are now preachers, that are now missionaries, that are now going everywhere preaching the gospel of salvation from our Lord Jesus Christ. We ask, sir, that with boldness and grace you share your word. The Bibles are spread all over this country. That people can sit down in peace without fear of some kind of retaliation, without fear from the local police, without fear from the army, without fear from groups that are out there trying to kill anyone that's not uh, part of the uh, Islamic world. Um, we ask with an open heart that this country can together kneel down and say, Jesus is our Lord and Savior. That this whole country can provide a testimony of how their lives are way different now. How their spiritual eyes were opened to the truth that is the word of God. How their, their understanding, their intelligence, their wisdom was given to them by God. So they will be able to understand his word, understand the Bible. We always ask that the Bible be translated to the languages that are spoken in these countries. In this case, the United Arab Emirates. Um, thank you, Lord. Thank you for this time. It's, it is such a blessing that we can 
use this platform um, in order to share the war and have some time for play. Um, we ask the joy, happiness, peace, and blessings for this country, United Arab Emirates. Good night, everyone. Sleep in peace. We love Jesus Christ until the end. Amen.